As we move into the hardcore gaming season, a bunch of players are going to move away from Fallout 4 yet again. The game is now almost a year old, and in that year we've gotten a ton of great content, ranging from DLCs to, more importantly, some of the different mods for the game. This is kind of the time where the Fallout 4 modding scene will transition into the longer term mod scene. By that I mean people are going to start undertaking larger scale mods, and the frequency of mods is just going to go down in general. And on top of all of that, a lot of people are going to walk away from Fallout 4 for a new game come this October and November, and frankly probably never come back. So with all that being said, I did feel like this was a great time to create this video. Basically here I'm going to show you guys the 6 best weapon mods for Fallout 4, and what I mean by that is in each category. Again, this is going to be my opinion, but basically I'm going to show you my favorite melee mod, my favorite pistol mod, etc, etc. I know this is going to be a controversial video, some of you guys are going to prefer other guns or other mods, but this is just what I've used over the past few months and what I've preferred over the past few months. So with that, let's get into, I guess, number one, which is going to be a melee weapon. So I don't really use melee weapons all that often, and for that reason, the Plasma Swords mod is by far my favorite. It may not be the most feature rich or have the most detail put into it, but I think it's the most unique and basically just the most interesting. I think the gunplay in Fallout 4 is much better than the melee play, so for that reason, I very rarely actually pull out a sword, but when I do, I like having the Plasma Sword because it does feel so much more different than all the other things in the game. It really feels like a modification and not just a retexture of some of the other melee weapons in the game. The mod itself comes in a bunch of different variants that range from different effects, so you'll do different kinds of damage like plasma, energy, etc. It's actually a relatively simple mod, but all in all, it is by far my favorite melee weapon mod and one I would not want to play this game without. So next up, we do have a pistol mod, and the handmade revolver is by far my favorite. In general, I kind of lean towards revolver mods for Fallout 4. I just find they have a little bit more character, and they're a little bit more enjoyable to use. I also do find as I play Fallout 4, I do use a lot of pistols. Whether it just be a quick secondary to switch to after your primary runs out of ammo, or just as your primary weapon because they're so much fun to use, I'm consistently keeping pistols on my person, and primarily I only use pistol mods. I think the vanilla game has a severe your lack there. Regardless, the main reason I like the handmade revolver is one, it looks absolutely amazing. Coming off of the crude blowback, this does live up to that in terms of texture quality and the model. And then even beyond that, I love it for its customizability factor. You can change all the different barrels, stocks, what type of ammo this fires, different scopes, etc, etc. Although yes, it'll always be a revolver, you could really make this your own and suit different needs. You could even kind of turn it into a little rifle by putting on some of the longer barrels and the full stocks if that's what you wanted. For a gun that I constantly find myself using again and again, it's nice to have the options to change it up whenever I feel the need to and really keep it spicy and interesting. So up next we do have an SMG or kind of a machine pistol and for that my favorite gun is the defense gun. I know I've classified this as an assault rifle in the past but as of late I've been using it more as kind of a automatic sidearm or something that can fire really fast dealing some damage but maybe not as practical in the long term. So this is a gun that definitely takes advantage of the weapon customization system implemented by Fallout 4. You can truly make this a pistol all the way to more of an assault rifle. That's actually not the reason I like this. The reason I like this is one, it's unique, but not too unique that it doesn't fit in Fallout 4. You can definitely tell it probably came from a different setting, but at the same time, it doesn't feel foreign finding it on enemies. And then even beyond that, I absolutely adore the look of this gun. When you have the metal frame and then a wooden stock, I just think it looks so good and not even like the textures are super high quality. I just like the way they contrast each other and the actual model of this gun in real life even. Maybe that'll be a little bit biased there because it's not as much functionality as it is aesthetics, but still, this is one of my favorite submachine gun mods, and it's really a gun that you can make your own, and I love that. So I use shotguns almost exclusively in a situational sense. When I have to get up close and personal with an enemy, I will pull out the shotgun that I've been carrying around on me, and when I have to do that, I love the pipe shotgun collection. Mainly because this gun does allow you quite a few customizability options. If you just want to fire at somebody really fast, you could use a quad barrel. But if you'd rather have a more practical approach, you could take kind of a single shot that will have clips and magazines, and you won't just like kind of blow your load really fast on a guy's face, you'll have a little bit of time to 
evaluate the situation. Actually, one of the main reasons I like this mod so much is not for my own use because again, I don't use shotguns that often, but I find as I play Fallout 4, you encounter raiders all the time, whether or not you want to. And a lot of raiders will spawn with shotguns and now a lot of raiders will spawn with pipe shotguns and different variants of the pipe shotgun with this mod installed. Due to all the customizability options with this, you'll really get some diversification out there. And more importantly, a lot of these raiders will attack you from very different ranges. Although it's a shotgun, it's going to be pretty close range, but some of them are a little bit more practical from far away than others. All around a very cool mod, another one that really takes the whole Fallout 4 customizability thing in strides. And for that reason, it is very good, especially just to have in your world. So this is the part where we get into the real meat of things. I like to play Fallout 4 as a kind of medium to longer range character. So by the nature of that, I always like to use assault rifles or sniper rifles. Originally, my favorite assault rifle mod and basically my go-to for filming a video was the Scar LK by Doom. Then with the release of the crude blowback, I did graduate to that. But only just recently on the 24th of September, I was blown away yet again by the Scar H. This mod comes with custom custom animations and some awesome sounds. On top of that, the mod itself is extremely high quality. Whoever did the texture work here deserves a huge high five and probably some donations because this thing does just look amazing. This is probably my favorite weapon mod period at this point because again, I do love using kind of medium to longer range guns and this one fits that purpose awesomely. It doesn't have as many customization options as some of the other weapons on this list, but it has all the ones I personally want. On top of that, it has a few other features that kind of just make it stand out from the competition and make it a little bit more unique and feel personal as you use this as your primary weapon. So last but certainly not least is probably my by far favorite sniper mod of all time and probably my second favorite mod of all time, the TKS 501 Sniper Rifle. This has definitely been one of those guns that's been in my arsenal for the longest time. It came out of July and since July I feel like I've used this thing regularly. Basically with all these mods, when I have to go film a mod, whether it be a quest mod or just a mod where I know I have to shoot some enemies, I like to install a weapon mod to actually use to take on that task. I can think of so many videos where I've used the DKS just to go adventuring and explore the waste. And although the Scar Age does blow me away, the most recent update to this has also blown me away and basically fixed every single critique I had of this gun. I just like the Scar Age a little bit more. This gun really is the full package now. It is everything you want from a weapon mod. First and foremost, it looks amazing. It also does have that nostalgia effect. This was the weapon in previous Fallout games. But if that wasn't enough, there actually is a little bit more. There's unique legendary types of this gun in the wasteland for you to go stumble upon or find. The new update also did give it its own custom animations which look absolutely amazing and just really give this another personal feel just like the Scar H. But wait, there's still more. Also in the most recent update, they added a feature that I kind of nitpick mods for time and time again when I make videos reviewing them. The DKS has custom sounds for each of the different calibers. So if you're using a 50 caliber, it sounds different than the 38 or the 308. That is a feature I absolutely love and it's awesome to actually use this in the wild so when you have two enemies firing at you with different DKS rifles you could actually know which one you should focus because one of them is going to be doing more damage. On top of that it also did add see-through sight support as well as visible weapon support so now when you holster this gun it will just appear on your back and again this gun is the full package it's everything you could want from a weapon mod. Lieutenant Commander has done an awesome job on this and again even though this isn't my favorite it's only not my favorite because I prefer assault rifles to sniper rifles and this probably the best weapon mod made for Fallout 4 right now without a doubt and I think it's a great way to wrap up this video so if you did enjoy it let me know in the comments down below or by leaving a like also in the comments tell me what your favorite weapon mods are maybe you'll have different opinions than me obviously not on the DKS because I don't think this is paralleled by any other mod in Fallout but regardless I love to hear what you guys have to say and I will be reading through the comments of this video so yeah now we're gonna start moving on to a new age of Fallout 4 as more games come out things are gonna change and some of you are gonna leave and probably never play the game again but alas new fallouts will come out and we'll see you again especially with skyrim as always i thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you all next time later